Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kiki Ogden, I'm a writer, and I am the Vampire Girl. July is almost over, which means our Out of the Shadows special is coming to a close. Which, honestly, I'm kind of excited. I've missed my vampires, I know you guys have missed them, so... After this week, they're coming on back, so don't even worry. This month we've tasted some fantasy, and now it's time to flip the script and tackle some sci-fi goodness. Sci-fi isn't usually my genre of choice, but when my friend from high school recommended this book to me, I just had to jump on it. So big thanks to my friend Kristen for recommending this book. I've talked too much already, let's get into the review. Partials was released in 2012 and is written by Dan Wells. It's the first book in the partial sequence, which includes three books and a series of short stories. 2012 was a really, really great season for YA dystopian and post-apocalyptic fiction. Titles like The Hunger Games, The Maze Runner, and Divergent were hitting it big, so this book came out right in the middle of that craze. I had high, high hopes going into the story, even though sci-fi isn't my usual cup of tea. I am a sucker for post-apocalyptic settings. I, uh, it's, uh, it's my favorite. The Hunger Games is one of my favorite book and movie series of all times. The Last of Us is one of my favorite video games of all time. I love post-apocalyptic settings. So when I found out that that was included in this book, I was so excited. My own novel, Her Heretic Blood, is also set in a post-apocalyptic setting. Safe to say, I love these worlds. Now, did Partial stack up to its predecessors? Did it stack up to my expectations? Well, let's talk a little bit about the summary first. If you're new to my channel, here's how the review is going to go down. I will give you a brief spoiler-free summary of the book, as well as a smattering of my thoughts, a rating out of five, and then I will talk about whether or not I will follow the author and the rest of the series. Then I'll give a more in-depth analysis of the book, talking about my favorite characters, lines, moments, talking about the world, and what did or didn't work for me. Let's go! Partials takes place 11 years after this super virus known as RM wipes out basically the entire human population. The survivors it has left have gathered together on Long Island and have created their own compound known as East Meadow. Our main character is Kira, a 16-year-old girl who has just started work as an, an intern at the hospital. She wants to be a doctor and she wants to help save lives and find a cure for RM. Life in East Meadow is really dangerous. There is a group of insurgents constantly launching attacks against the city, and these insurgents are known as the Voice. The people of East Meadow don't just have to worry about the Voice, they also have to worry about the Partials. These half-human, half-machine, genetically engineered beings that they believe are responsible for creating RM and basically destroying the world. There was this huge war with the Partials, and since the Partials were genetically engineered super soldiers, they kind of came out on top. So, the people of East Meadow, including Kira and her friends, are having to constantly worry about the voice attacking and an imminent attack from the Partials. The more we delve into this book, the more we understand that things aren't always what they seem. And it's up to Kira and her friends to kind of navigate this new world that they've been launched into and try and survive. Not only that, but they have to try and save their entire species. Humanity is dying out and it's only a matter of time before RM succeeds in wiping out every last human being on the planet. What are my thoughts on partials? I went into this book with really, really high hopes and now that might have been one of my mistakes. I didn't care for this book. It was fine. I just wanted more. I I couldn't relate to any of the characters. And of course, it's a YA book. So it's meant for the age group that are, it's meant for people the same age as their characters. So between, between like 15 and 18. So I am clearly not between 15 and 18. And I think that if I had read this book back when I was that age, I would have liked it more. I don't know. The world also felt like there was a lot to it, or there could have been a lot to it, but we didn't really get to sink our teeth into it. And that was really disappointing, because like I said, I love these kinds of settings. I love getting a feel for how humanity is trying to heal after these world-ending 
instances, whether it's a virus or a nuclear war or, or this or that, whatever. I love seeing humanity pull itself back up by the bootstraps and come together and fight a common enemy. I love that. I live for it. This just felt like it was trying to do a lot, but didn't know exactly where to put these certain elements. I will go into more in depth on that in the spoilery analysis section, but overall, the story is there, but I couldn't get behind the characters. The world building was really good. It raised some really interesting questions about humanity and ethics and morals, which I will talk more about in the spoilery section. But I, I was just kind of underwhelmed by it. It was fine. I just wanted more. All that being said, Partials by Dan Wells gets a score of three out of five for me. I just wanted more. So will I continue to follow the series? Maybe sometime in the future, but I'm not sure. I, I just, uh, I don't know. Dan Wells does really have a really great reputation in the sci-fi and like the mystery and thriller community. So maybe I'll check out more of his work in relation to that, but the series just didn't do it for me. All right, if you still want to go check out Partials, make sure you do that because it was fine. But if you want to hear my more in-depth thoughts on everything that, that happened in the book, my more thoughts on the characters and the, the ethical questions that it raises, go ahead and stick through the rest of the video. Okay? Spoiler-free people, I hope you're gone because we're getting into spoilers. I, I was just disappointed. I'm, I'm not angry. Mr. Wells, I'm just disappointed. And especially coming from somebody who loved The Hunger Games, who liked the first Divergent book. I read the first Divergent book in like three days. I, it was it was a thick book and I read it super quick. I just remember sitting on the floor of my laundry room when I was supposed to be doing laundry, not doing laundry and just reading Divergent. I never finished that series either though, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> But I just wanted to like this book so much, and I didn't. I wanted to see if I was the only one who was having issues getting into these characters and these scenarios. So I looked up some reviews online. Thankfully, I was not alone. Um, the characters... I love character. Character is my favorite, favorite part of storytelling because a good character can get you through a bad book. A good character can get you through, I am a, I am a fanatic for, for shitty dollar store horror movies because all of the character writing is always so fun and a good character can get you through a bad movie or a bad book or a bad whatever. And this book just didn't have that. Like I said before, I think if I had read this when I was 16 or 15, I would have liked it more because I was still that kind of impulsive, like savior complex kind of person that Kira, our main character in this book is. Kira very much has a savior complex and she has very little regard for her actions, the consequences thereof, She's super impulsive. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a teenager. But I don't know if I don't like it because I can't relate to Kira or if I can't relate to Kira because she's just not a well-written character. I look at everything from the perspective of a writer, so sometimes that like biases me to certain things, but I just didn't like her. Which sucked because I wanted to! <laughs> Especially because she has a K name and I'm always biased towards K name protagonists because we don't have many of them and I love them. It's not just Kira that I had problems with. So many of the characters in this felt like one note, flat archetypes. We had the brooding bad boy soldier, we had the nice guy boyfriend, we had the, the girl who doesn't give a damn because she's too cool. 
We had, you know, the very sweet, wholesome, innocent girl. We had our impulsive, strong-headed, strong, independent woman protagonist. We had, you know, the politicians who were pure slime. We had, you know, every, every authority figure in this book. I'm trying to think of one, but no, every authority figure in this book seemed to exist just so Kira could go against them. There was no depth, there was no differing opinions, there were no levels to them. Even the one senator that I was like, okay, maybe she, no, by the end of the book, even she was just like, well, yeah, nah, bleh. So I was, I was disappointed in the character department. I'm trying to think of one character that, okay, no, here's the one character that, well, Did I like him? The whole book. Uh, even he kind of existed to go against Kira. But if I had to pick a favorite character, I have to. So, this is the spoiler section, so I can say this. But there comes a point where Kira and her friends go out and capture one of the partials, who are these genetically engineered humans, soldier people, and bring them back to the city. So, and his name is Sam. The partial's name is Sam. And he would probably be my favorite character just because he's consistent through the story. And he's, he's kind of this strong, silent soldier, not the broody bad boy soldier, we, that's Jaden. But Sam, is the one who starts making Kira question if what she's doing is ethical, if, you know, who the real villains are. But we don't get him till more than halfway into the book. So much, the pacing of this book is also all over the place. It feels like it wants to do so much but it doesn't know how to do it in like a linear way or in a way that makes sense. So it's just, the setup is, feels both rushed and slow at the same time. It feels like we're just scratching the surface of what this world has to offer, what the, what the characters can do, what this, what the series could accomplish. And maybe if I finished the series, if I read the next two books or the short stories or whatever, Maybe those pacing issues would be fixed, you know, we'd get to spend more time with Sam, we'd get to learn more about the partials, but everything just comes so slow. And the, the buildup just isn't there. There's so much, he spends so much time building things up, but they're not the things that he pays off on. It's so weird, the pacing of this book is just wild. I just wanted to like it so much, and I just didn't. The book does raise some interesting moral questions. And one of them is, after Kira captures Sam, she's kind of, um, they brought him in to experiment on him. And then she sees, uh, because partials always wear these uniforms with these black helmets, so, you know, the, the people of East Meadow, the survivor, the surviving humans have been able to distance themselves from the partials because they're just these like inhuman monsters to them. They're just these things of nightmares. So when Kira sees that, oh, Sam actually looks human, he has a name, his name isn't just partial, it, it makes her question if the experiments that she is doing are right to do. It makes her question, you know, if she should allow the Senate and the government to kill him at the end of their experimentation. She knows that they're coming in and like torturing him for information every night after she leaves. And she calls that into question. And the book also raises these questions of like, oh, the excess that we have now versus what we may, you know, what will be left behind when we're all gone. There's this moment where Kira is walking through East Meadow and she's like, wow, there's, there's so much that was left behind the, oh, it was, she said that the old world was so obsessed with the, with the concept of getting more, 
of gaining more. And now there's more than anyone could ever use, but no one around to use it. Which was a really great thing. That's why I love post-apocalyptic settings so much, is because they draw into question what really matters, what excess can do, what how worthless material things are. So I loved that. I loved the questions that it brought up. There are some great moments in the in the book where Kira makes comments like, oh, uh, we need to go find some new clothes, so we just run down to this old abandoned outlet mall and we just pick whatever we want because we don't have to buy anything. There's more, there's more clothing, there's more houses, there's more, there's more that, this, that than anyone can ever use. So if you want a house, you just find one that's that nobody's living in, you fix it up the best you can and you have a house now. So I loved, I loved those moments. I loved seeing the shell of that the world had become. But it was just filled with characters I didn't care about, conflict that I didn't care about, and just pacing that made no sense. Props to this book for raising these questions, for, for creating this interesting scenario of these these partials which are really really interesting characters showing the dynamics between partials and humans where our moral codes begin and end you know what humanity does when it's on its last legs because humanity is dying out so they are doing everything that they can ethically or not to save humanity and that's another point in its favor is that kira take some time to come to her own realization that hey what the government is doing is not ethical it's not morally right it may make sense from their point of view from their standpoint of trying to save the population but all they're doing is causing more damage to society to the population to their people they're not they're not protecting their people they're inadvertently destroying them. It's it, so props to Dan Walls for that. I just couldn't get into this book and I couldn't I couldn't root for Kira, which sucks because I love character. Like I said, maybe I'm not this book's audience. Maybe I'm being hypercritical. So if the book, if the premise sounds interesting to you, if you like sci-fi and dystopian and post-apocalyptic films or movies or books, then definitely check out Partials. Give it a read. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you again to my friend Kristen for recommending this book. I did enjoy parts of it. It just wasn't for me but I do appreciate the recommendation and I appreciate all recommendations that I get in the comments on my Instagram, follow me on TikTok where I am posting other short form reviews. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and I will see you later. Bye guys.